There are a few reasons why rigid hull inflatable boats are becoming more and more popular. I'm John Blacher for BoatDealers.ca, and this is Highfield's Sport 420, a very capable 14-foot boat powered by Yamaha's potent F70. Inflatable boats come in two basic categories. Those with floppy bottoms that you're meant to paddle down a river, and those with rigid hulls that are often used by search and rescue. This one falls into the latter category. One of my favorite features is this bow pad. Some models have them, but the Sport model has the latest design with these flattened curved edges and fold down flush mount cleats. It also has a ton of storage in the bow, under the console, and even more under the helm seat. And this one has the optional arch with heavy duty cleats and a high toe point for water sports. The Sport 420 has an aggressive 20 degree dead rise and big 19 inch tubes, which combined allow for a 1,744 pound load capacity. And notice this solid rub strake. It wraps all the way around the boat to provide 360 degrees of protection but it also helps keep you high and dry when it gets a little bumpy out. A big double wide helm seat has more than enough room for two and provides excellent ergonomics when sitting. But with this grab handle, it also makes it very easy to stand and Highfield provides enough space for the console to make sure you can stand comfortably without being encroached by the seat. Remember, this boat is only 13 feet 11 inches long and it weighs only 681 pounds, but it is rated for up to 70 horsepower and that can create a bit of a challenge. You see, not all OEMs make a 70. They all make 60s, but most of those are three cylinders. And if you're looking for a four cylinder, well, most of those are 75s, and they can be quite heavy, up to 340 pounds. But this little 70 from Yamaha is quite special. One, it's a four cylinder with a displacement of 998 cc's. Reminds me of an R1 I used to own. Two, it's very, very light. In fact, the motor itself weighs only 253 pounds. Now to put that in perspective, that's almost 70 pounds lighter than the last 60 horse HO2 smoke that you can't buy anymore. Three, it's fuel injected with a single throttle body and pulse tuned intake tracks just like the big 425. I don't know if you've ever messed with an old carbureted four stroke, but I have, and I couldn't wait to get something fuel injected. And four, it has the 2.33 to one gear ratio, which allows you to run much bigger props for a lot more thrust. Maybe not necessary for a lightweight inflatable like this, but perfect if you're gonna add an F70 to a heavier pontoon boat. Now one very nice thing about the sport model is at least the 330, the 360, the 420, and the 460 all have that 20 degree hull. Now what does that really mean? Well, most inflatables that are tender size of this size have only a 15 degree dead rise, which provides stability, but not as much ride comfort. But the sport models were designed after the Ocean Master hull, which is really meant to be able to go offshore. And that is an enormous difference when it gets choppy. Not only is the boat more capable, but it is definitely providing more ride comfort. And what does that really translate into ride comfort? Well, it means you can drive further without tiring your crew. It also means when the wind picks up and the swell gets bigger, you can still confidently get back to wherever you started from. Now this Sport 420 with the 20 degree hull also has four millimeter plating. This is a heavy duty, way overbuilt hull, and yet it still only weighs 681 pounds dry with just the boat. This Sport 420 is all about exploring, finding new places and sharing them with friends. If you're in the market for a small 14 foot size runabout, one that can still fit in the garage, one that can carry up to eight people, then you really should check out Highfield Sport 420. And if you do, I highly recommend you put the F70 on it. Does it need this much power? Maybe not, 
but it's only six pounds heavier than the 50 or the 60, so why not? I'm John Blazer for BoatDealers.ca, I think I'm gonna go for another spin.